Hi everyone, Salam alaikum warahmatullah. My name is Anas. Uh, in this presentation, I will talk about basic knowledge of fundamentals microalgae cultivation by photobioreactors. And in this presentation, I just offer the um, uh, <clears throat> the kind of photobioreactors, and uh, those are like uh, four photobioreactors will be discussed. So first of all. Uh, we have uh, the vertical tube photobioreactor and horizontal stir tank photobioreactor and flat panel photobioreactor. So what is the photobioreactor? A photobioreactor is a closed or mostly closed vessel of phototraffic production where energy is supplied via electric lights. Photobioreactor can be located indoor or outdoors depending upon the light collection and distribution system and their chemical visibility. So in the classification of photobioreactor, I will discuss the design for everyone and the mechanisms and their advantages, advantages with their limitations. There are various techniques for microalgae cultivation. The cultivation method is mainly influenced by the strain type, source of nutrition and investment cost it can be classified. So um, in photobioreactors, it can, uh, um, in general, uh, the system, it can be classified to two categories, the closed and open system. So, but for phot photobioreactor, all of them are in a closed system. First of all, vertical tube photobioreactor. In vertical tube photobioreactor design, there are two types that are bubble column and a left column. The similar features for both type of photobioreactor are that they have an iron spherical attached at the bottom of the reactor to enhance mass transfer by generating iron bubbles to mix the algae with the culture medium. So as we can see in this figure, we have the bubble column reactor in the left and we have the air left reactor and the right. Both of them are vertical tube photobioreactor, but um, the air left reactor is improved design for bubble columns. So uh, in the air left reactors, in this configuration step, the process is called air left due to the air bubbles driving so we can see here the, the bottom and we can see here the, uh, the rise zone. So uh, before to, to start to explain the air left, so as we can see in uh, the bubble column reactor, uh, we don't have the, the internal structure. We have a fluid pattern, pattern uh, but here we have the internal structure so <coughs> that helps to um, to drive the liquid from the rise zone uh, within the constricting tube to the illuminated zone outside and that help to liquid cycling between the dark and light zone So the features of bubble column um, is satisfactory mass transfer and high surface area to volume ratio, but the, the gas flow rate is uh, difficult to be controlled as it, it affects the light and dark cycle. For air, airlift reactor leads to liquid cycling between the dark and light zone, uh, good mixing with low shear stress efficient mass uh, transfer and being ideal for algae immobilization. The second one is horizontal tube photobioreactor. Horizontal tube, also known as tubular reactor, is the first constructed model of closed reactor for microalgae cultivation. It is composed of long horizontal tubes that can be placed in many fritation to form molds. So in the horizontal, as we can see, uh, it should be uh, 
placed in the uh, huge uh, or the large area of land due to the high surfaces. This reactor type is only suitable for certain microalgae that require sunlight. And this type of reactor, uh, the calcium medium is uh, circulated within the tubes together. So uh, with this co uh, configuration, the diameter of tube can be smaller uh, due to the long and large distance for permeability for the light sources to culture liquid. The feature of horizontal tube photobioreactor, uh, as the tube has small, smaller di diameter that would give a higher volumet uh, volumetric productivity, the use of horizontal type photobioreactor could minimize dissolved oxygen content better than vertical one. And the limitation only suitable for certain microalgae that require sunlight. Stir tank photobioreactor. Basically, the stir tank used is differed from the permeation tank design. The concepts are similar, while the difference that can be distinguished for microalgae cultivation are the need for uh, additional ex external light sources to be added to the design. So, although this reactor uh, has a low surface area to volume ratio that reduces the microalgae photosynthetic efficiency, it has a good performance as it provides very good mixing and transfer into cultivation microalgae. So, the features it exhibits good performance as it provides very good mixing and transfer into cultivation. And the limitation is still uh, only small and just use liberally. The last one is the flat panel photobioreactor. The flat panel is the most common design of a photobioreactor, comprising of two transparent or semi transparent glass sheets that resumable a rect rectangular box that are contacted and kissed towards the light source. So it can be positioned vertically or included certain angles, this one. So the mechanisms would potentially enhance the microalgae biomass productivity by increasing the mixing rate and profiting appropriate amounts of carbon dioxide while removing the accumulated oxygen through exhaust gas emission to intensify the flashing light effect. This would be beneficial for the extraction of biomolecules from microalgae. So the features, it can be positioned vertically or included at certain angles. Uh, it also has very short light path that enables easy light to the microalgae. That is suitable for both outdoor and uh, indoors. And the limitation is region that causes hydrodynamic stress. <clears throat> In conclusion, photobioreactors have various design and mechanisms that affects on microalgae cultivation. Thus, to be chosen the suitable photobioreactor. It should be taken into consideration many factors such as the kind of microalgae strain, the mode of growth, and the medium of cultivation. Thank you.